Hello and good day to everyone, especially to our students. We would like to welcome you to the Admirals family. Today, we will be teaching you how to use your student portal and your learning management system. This instructional video will be composed of three instructions. First would be how to access your student portal. Second would be how to view your profile, your classes, and your dates. And lastly would be how to use your learning management system. So let us begin. Part 1 of this instructional video will now cover how to access your student portal. We can begin by first opening any web browser. However, we recommend the use of either Firefox or Google Chrome rather than our Internet Explorer. After you have opened your browser, you can now continue by going to student.ccdc.space. Once you enter that, you'll be directed to the Student Portal's home page. Then, you can now enter your details for your student ID number and your password. Once you've entered that, you will be directed to your student portal. Part 2 will cover the viewing of your profile, your classes, and your grades. So once you've accessed your student portal, you will be directed to your dashboard. You will see here announcements from your department and also from the school. Aside from that, you will also be able to see your ID photo and also your user profile, which would contain your information. For corrections, you can contact the Registrar's Office. You can also change your password if you wish to by setting a new password at the bottom part of your user profile and save password. On the left corner of your dashboard, you will see here your View Classes tab. Once you click that tab, you'll be able to see here your current enrolled schedule. It will contain your LMS, the course code of your subjects enrolled, the course description, the number of units, the schedule, the days, and also the room. For your viewing of your grades, just click View Grades on the left corner of your dashboard, and you'll be able to see your current grades. But if you wish to look at your older grades, you can just click on the respective school year. You'll be able to see the first semester, second semester, and your summer grades. So that is part two. Part three will now cover your access to your learning management system. We can start by first clicking on your View Classes tab and it will show you your currently enrolled schedule. Your subjects would have their respective LMS button. So if you want to open a specific LMS, then you can just click on the LMS button. After that, you will then be directed to the wall of your learning management system. So your LMS would contain your wall and it would also contain your quizzes. For the wall, it is specifically used if there are announcements, assignments, or lessons uploaded by your instructor. So in your wall, you can see there different posts by your instructor. If you have older posts, you can just click load more and it will load older posts of your instructor. Or if your instructor uploaded recently, then you can just click refresh me. So you have it there on your upper right corner. So for announcements, for example, if you look at the post, you will be able to comment on your instructor's post. So once you click a comment there and post a comment, your instructor as well as your classmates will be able to see your comment. So in this case, again, if you would have concerns regarding announcements or lessons, you can just post it there. For your assignments, on the other hand, your instructor will be uploading lessons, for examples, or assignments. You can download these files by just clicking on the uploaded file and it will automatically download that below, as you can see on the lower left corner. If you've made your assignments, for example, and you want to submit a requirement, go to the post of your instructor and click on the three dots on that post and you will see there, Submit Requirement. Click on that and it will direct you to your chat type view. If you will upload, you will just click on that clip there and 
you can now choose which file to upload and it will automatically upload into that chat box. If you also have concerns which you want to be addressed privately, you can also contact your instructor using that chat box. So again, on the left part of your chat box, you can also see other older posts of your instructor. You can just click on them if you want to upload a specific assignment on a different post. So that is for your learning management systems wall. We can now proceed to the last part of our learning management system and that is how to access your classwork for timed quizzes and for examinations. So of course, we can start or we will start by clicking our New Classes tab. And next, clicking on the LMS button for that specific subject. And you have there your quiz tab. So again, for example, your instructor now announced that you will be having your quiz today. Then that's the time you can click your quiz tab. Upon clicking, you will be shown your actual test you can start your test by clicking on your Take Quiz tab or button and it will show you your test questions. On the upper right corner of your test or your exam, you would have there the timer and then you also have there your title and the instruction for that classwork. For our LMS, we have three types of questions. So the instructor can give you multiple choice type questions where you are only required or you can only pick one answer for every question. Another question would be your paragraph or your identification type question where the student is now required to encode or type their answers. And lastly would be your checkbox question where you are asked to answer more than one or there would be more than one answers for every question. So after checking your answers, then you can submit your answers to your instructor and it will automatically direct you back to your wall. So again, that is it for our LMS, for your wall and for your quiz and also for uh, instructions on how to access your portal. Thank you very much for listening and God bless.